Why, hello there everybody. How are you doing today? It's me, again. And again, I'm here to give you another update. And once again, my phone has not gone one ringy dingy. Yet. Why, again, why do I say yet? Because I am trusting in the law. Now, I have a couple of questions for you all. Question number one. Are you capable of lying? Now, the honest person says, yes. Question number two. Have you ever lied before? And again, the honest person says, will say yes to question number two. Well, if you have lied before, and if you are capable of lying, what makes you think that another human being is not capable of lying and has not lied before in the past? Well, there is no reason. There is no reason not to believe that because that's fact. Because we're all alike. We're, we're human. Now, that leads me to question number three. <laughs> and this always gets to liars. Do you intentionally, when you do lie, do you lie by accident? In other words, speak without knowing what you're talking about, or do you lie intentionally, try to deceive? That one always gets to liar. Because the truthful person will say, well, I... I I, 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 when, when I have told, when I have misspoken, otherwise known as a lie, because I didn't know what I was talking about, well, I admitted, admitted that I didn't know what I was talking about. The liar, the liar, when they speak knowing that they do not know what they're talking about, tries to justify what they said and then redefines what they said light bulbs going on they try to come up with a reason for why they said that and they always pass the blame instead of just saying hello I didn't know what in the world I was talking about so how does that relate to my situation well my my situation will be resolved as soon as you all realize that there are fakes and frauds and counterfeits who have grabbed titles who believe that they are in charge. And the easiest way to to the easiest way to point these people out is to do exactly what I've been doing. Give them all the opportunity to fulfill the office, to fulfill the duties of whatever authority they have hijacked with, without with to give them the ability to be the genuine article that they are impersonating. I've reported crimes, documented crimes. There is no doubt of what has happened. And these crimes, these crimes have led to 20 years of my life being stolen from me. 20 years that I am going to get back, by the way. So says law. Because I'm not trusting these, these fakes and frauds and counterfeits. I'm not trusting these criminals. I'm not trusting these, these, these liars. I am trusting the law because I have a relationship with the one who, is, who has authored said law, who has established said law, and who gives said law its authority. That is Jesus Christ, my personal Lord and Savior. The question is not what am I going to do. The question is what are you going to do? What are you going to do now that you know? Now that you know, and it's just not my situation. You can look throughout our entire uh, governmental system or the, the entire authority structure, and remember, it's Almighty God's authority structure, and you can spot the fakes and frauds and counterfeits. You know who they are. You know how many of them there are, and that scares you. Because you are afraid, you're scared that, well, if they go away, then the whole thing will collapse. No. You take out the fake and fraud, and you put in the genuine article.
Why do these little frakes and frauds and counterfeits refuse to do anything? You need to ask yourself a question. Why? I've called up the judge. I've called up the Honorable Mallory D. Cooper six times. Did she get all the six phone calls? I don't know. Why don't you call up and ask? My point is, has anything happened to me? Have I violated the law? No, I haven't violated the law. Have I gone down there and made a fuss? <laughs> Hello, 20 years of my life has been stolen from me. I'm going to get it back. Eight-year-old Cherish Periwinkle should have never been kidnapped, raped, and murdered. They're holding the trial, the sentencing portion of the trial, right down, right down in downtown Jacksonville, right now. Oh, and they're saying how terrible of a person Donald Smith is. Well, if he's such a terrible person, then why in the world did you all make a plea deal with him? Thereby releasing him. And now today, in 2018, they're not even talking about a plea deal. All they're talking about, they, they refuse to talk about the, the thing that they did wrong. That's the problem. Because if you're not willing to admit when you're wrong, you're going to keep doing the wrong thing. And when authorities do something wrong, what happens? 20 years of someone's life gets stolen from them. Three women are blamed and are walking around, are blamed for their, for their criminal actions. The three Thornton, Thornton women, Mama Thor, Grandma Thornton, Mama Thornton, and Daughter Thornton. They're walking around to this day believing that it's their fault that Cherish Periwinkle was kidnapped, raped, and murdered because then 10-year-old uh, Christina Thornton was too scared. She was a little girl. She, she didn't have to get up on the stand. And Terrence Martin made a plea deal when Terrence Martin stopped being an attorney. I, you don't want to see, It's all over on the TubeView channel. Go look at it. What am I supposed to do? Make somebody do something? The question is, what are you going to do about it? If they've done it to me, what makes you think that they're not going to be willing to do it to you? What, am I going to supposed to go down there and make them do something? No, see, that's what they want. They want a reason to not deal with this. They want me to go down there and violate the law. They've already violated the law. They're caught. They're the ones that have to answer for it. I don't, look, I don't have to make sure that the authorities do their job. That's Almighty God's job. That's we the people's job. When you know that there's a fake and a fraud and a counterfeit, it's time for us to demand that they be removed. Period. The only one that wants a fake and fraud and counterfeit in a position of authority is another fake and fraud and counterfeit, another control freak. Period. They want you to go down there and violate and make them because they know, just like you know. That's why you all say, you gotta make me. You gotta make, you gotta make them. Because you know that that's a paradoxical situation. There, no one can make you do anything, and you know it. Therefore, you know that you cannot make somebody else do something. Therefore, you say the solution is they had to have to be made. One problem, when they, when they grab you and they force their opinion, oh, light bulbs, their beliefs, their, they force themselves upon you. And now you say, well, hey, you're just getting exactly what you said. You said that we operate by the law of the jungle. No, we do not operate by the law of the jungle. The United States of America is a constitutional republic. So, what's again, what is the solution? The solution is to just stand and keep, keep, report, keep trusting the law and keep believing. Hold yourself accountable. As soon as you are willing to hold yourself accountable, you will other you will demand that those who have taken an oath to be held accountable are held accountable period and that's exactly when they will be held accountable as soon as you choose to hold yourself accountable 
because accountability is contagious. It pushes away all of the fakes and frauds and counterfeits because they are outed whenever the fake is put is put up right next to the real deal to the genuine article mm, you can see all of the flaws and imperfections you can see that it's a fake so the solution is very simple you yourself must choose you can choose not to you're not helping the matters any. I don't care what you do, because at the end of the day, at the end of the road, you are going to have to, you are, whether you want to or not, you will be held accountable by your creator. That's what's going on in our country, folks. You need to decide if you're going to keep on shaming people, dealing with, the, dealing with everybody that hasn't taken an oath, or are you going to deal first with yourself? Are you going to admit that it's up to you. The only one that can change you is you. And then once you change, once you once you do everything by the book, once you're holding yourself accountable, you will then point out the simple fact that everybody else, ev by holding yourself accountable, you will be pointing out everyone who is not holding themselves accountable because they will stick out like a sore thumb. That's the solution. The only question is, what are you going to do? My situation is over and done with. Because Almighty God is moving upon men and women's hearts, real, true, godly authorities, real, true Christians, and they are seeing the error of their ways, they are repenting, and they are not demanding that somebody else does something they themselves are choosing to hold themselves accountable. And it's spreading like wildfire. This is a move of Almighty God. Almighty God moves where man cannot, cannot move. That's on man's heart, men and women's hearts. The only question is, what are you going to do? I don't really care what you do. Because what you do has absolutely no bearing on what I do. And what you do... It's not gonna it's not gonna affect what I do. This is over and done with. Because I'm doing everything by the book. I'm doing everything according to the what the law says, according to what the word of God says, according to what Almighty God says. The only question that remains is what exactly are you going to do? Just saying.